What's going on YouTube? Brandon, once again. Um, didn't plan on doing a review today, but um, I pretty much got done with all my notes and I just felt as though I should do one. I'm not doing anything right now. It's a decent day outside, 65 degrees. So, here we go. Um, today my review is going to be on a really, really new fragrance. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about it, want to know how it is. I've spoke with a few reviewers about it, and so far it's like half and half, half enjoy it, half don't. The ones that don't so far are me and Mark, from when I spoke to him, maybe his opinion will change. The um, fragrance I have today is Theory Mugler's Sun Essence Summer Storm. New fragrance this year for the summer from Theory Mugler. And uh, this is, of course, Decanted by J.R. Ryder. Uh, he was nice enough to send me this along with a few other samples. The next one you'll see in my next video. And I've used a good chunk of it ever since I got it. It was full. Alright, we're gonna get a uh, straight, 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 straight into this. Alright, everybody's been wondering how is this gonna be? Is it just like Iceman? No, it's not the same thing as Iceman. It does use the same bottle but the bottle is a little bit darker blue and the cap is clear. I don't think the juice is blue. I think the bottle is completely blue. And Iceman, the juice was uh, uh, like an aqua color. Uh, okay. Straight off the bat, um, this does hold a little bit of the DNA of Amen. A lot of people expect this to be a watered down Amen. It is. It's, it is a watered down Amen take out the tar out the top notes and leave the mint, the tonka, and the chocolate in the top notes that you get. And that's pretty much what you have for the opening. But I was talking with Mark the other day and he said he gets a lot of orange. And um, I didn't notice it until he said that. And it's kind of like when um, everybody was doing the pure malt reviews, nobody said berries until I said berries. And everybody was like, oh, I can kind of smell it now. So it's kind of like one of those things like you know, you realize it once it's said. Um, to, to make this as detailed as I can or as easy to understand, it has mint, it has the tonka, it has the chocolate. That's what you smell. But when you smell all of them together in the opening and don't think about mint and don't think about chocolate and don't think about the tonka and you just think about what you're smelling, it smells like orange chocolate like um I don't know about your, if anybody's ever had those candy like orange chocolate balls like they're chocolate that is like imprinted like or orange and you got like you know little slices and when you eat it it's just full chocolate but it has a really artificial orange flavor they add it to the blend of the chocolate if you've had one of those that's what it smells like and that's what it reminds you of like if you're eating one of those so the orange chocolate feel with mint, with tonka, with, you know, chocolate. That's the top notes that stays there for maybe about 30 minutes, maybe, maybe a little bit more, depending on the, the heat. If it's hot outside, I would say close to an hour or maybe a little bit longer. The middle notes, you lose the orange chocolate feel and you just get straight up Angel Man, tonka, and chocolate, but watered down. It's not strong, it's watered down. And you lose the orange, like I said, you lose the mint. No tar. It doesn't have the harshness of the tar. And then in the dry down, it's pretty much the same thing. You get the tonka and the chocolate. And it's pretty linear. Like I said, at the beginning, the only thing that changes anything is the mint and the orange feel. Other than that, afterwards, you just get the chocolate and the tonka. Now, I, the reason why I do not like this fragrance, I won't be purchasing it. Um, I feel as though it is a bit boring. I prefer Angel Man because the tar note that a lot of people don't like, I actually like. <clears throat> To me, it's what makes it more manly to have that, that tar note in it. And it makes it more daring. It makes it more fun to wear. 
with this not having a tar note, it takes some of the excitement out of it, in my opinion. Now, it does open the, the spectrum for people that didn't like Amen 2 like this. Now, so I'm not saying that nobody's going to like this. But if you particularly liked Amen and you liked how rich it was and you actually liked a little bit of the tar note and it wasn't that bad to you, you're probably not going to like this because you're not going to really want a watered down version of Amen. I like the rich chocolate that I get in Amen. You won't get as rich of a smell. You're going to get a chocolate with water on it. Um, it's very linear. Um, like I said, it's not risky anymore. I could see you doing this all season. You could probably put it off in the winter because of the chocolate. It's still a gourmand. So that's still capable. So this is also going to bring a love-hate relationship. Because like I said, I think Amen lovers are probably not going to like this as much as they think they would. Um, what else can I say about this? Oh, well, uh, longevity, I'm getting anywhere from maybe like six to eight hours in decent heat, you know, cool weather, slightly warm weather. So I would say it's pretty good. Um, projection, it's not really a projection monster like the other ones. It doesn't really, you know, leap out there. You know, it's only going to be a few inches off your skin. You will leave a scent trail, but it's going to be very light. It's not going to be like chocolate all in their face. It's going to be like, you know, they have to figure out if it was chocolate or not, like in a way. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much what it is when it comes to that. The versatility, um, I think it's, I think it's pretty high on the versatility marks because, um, you could wear this because now it is watered down. You could wear something like this to work. You could wear something like this in close quarters. Um, you could wear this in the summer now. So they did do well with the versatility marks to it. Like I said, I think this will be for the people that weren't fans of angel men. I think that's what this is majority, who this is going to appeal to. Richer than this. That's just not what I feel as though I would have wanted out of a summer fragrance from Angel Man. Iceman I didn't like, and I really don't like this one. That I think they just need to reinvent a new fragrance for the summer. Like, just completely redo, like, a, 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 a new type of scent from their Mugler. Even if they try and keep the same DNA, just don't water down another version of something else. Um, my marks, a scent, I give it a C, it gives average marks for scent at best for me. Um, projection, it gets a C, it's just average on projection. Longevity, it gets a B, it's pretty nice, especially for a summer scent. Like I said, anywhere from six to eight hours. Um, can go up, can go down, depending on, depending on the temperature. Purpose, it gets an A. It served its purpose. I'm pretty sure that purpose was for it to appeal to more people and for it to be worn in more situations that Angel Man couldn't be worn in. Gets an A for that. Uniqueness, it gets a B. Um, versatility, it gets an A because now it can be worn so much more. So those are my marks for it. Oh, age. I see this as an 18 plus because it's not as strong as Amen. I think people, it can go down a little bit lower in age and more people can wear it. Um... That's pretty much it for that. That's all I really have to say, guys. It's not too much to it. Um, definitely go try it. You might like it. Like I said, the people out there that did not like Angel Man, you really need to try this. You might like it. You might really enjoy this scent. Uh, for the people that loved Amen and loved the Tar Note, well, not even loved it. I don't think too many people could love it, but didn't have a problem with the Tar Note, liked how rich Amen was. Try this, but don't be expecting a lot. You need to be expecting a little. Because it's not going to be amen. It's going to be much, 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 much lower. So don't go into it thinking it's going to be something amazing like I did. Um, so, that, yeah, guys, that was uh, Terry Mugler's Sun Essence Summer Storm. Um, hope you liked the review. My next one, I will tell you all what my next one will be. My next one will be Pure Coffee. So that way I will have finished up the Terry Mugler line. And after that, I'm going to be dipping into my boxes of samples. And I'm going to be doing a wide range of stuff, stuff you probably, all probably didn't expect me to do. Niche, non-niche, um, it's going to be quite a few things. I'm going to try my best, you know, to handle. It's a little hard for me because some of them are a little hard for me to break down, but I'm going to try. Um, a few, a lot of people have been asking me, where do I get my testers from off eBay? So I'm going to handle this right now. I'm going to annotize this or do annotation later so you can see the exact name. But I have two people that I get my testers from, My Perfume USA. And perfumes outlet. That's what a perfumes. That's not an S. It's a Z outlet. And um, both of them sell a lot of testers. 
Um, but people said they search testers. Don't search testers for cologne. You're not going to find anything. They do not put the word tester in their title. When you click on it, go down to the condition and see if it's a tester or if it's new in box. That's what you need to see. They're never going to put tester in the title. All right? Guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Catch you all later. See you later.